We have this wagon crash sequence that kind of escalates. The wheel breaks, the horses run off, the wagon ends up crashing over a hill, they gotta dive out. There's a million shots to get, and Paul's got a very specific idea of how it should happen. Well, listen, we're just gonna have a little gathering here. We'll just work out. Every bit of that wagon stump had to be thought about. What gradients could we take a horse down safely? How close to edges could you go with a horse and a car? There's two wreck wagons. It's gonna crash down the hill, and that's the end of the line for, for this wagon. There are lots and lots and lots of safety issues. You can be in a world of difficulty if you're not very, very careful. Meticulous planning is what it is, and then the execution's got to be very carefully done and not against a clock. But it really works and really looks scary. And the wagon chase becomes a gunfight. I shoot, you go. Go! And the gunfight is on a hillside. We were never on a stage. There's a reason it looks like we're behind a bunch of precarious rocks on the side of the hill, because that's where we shot it. <laughs> we shot it very precariously behind some rocks on the side of a hill. <laughs> Cue the guys to come out of cover. Tom will see that. Then he fires off his next okay, two and we cool. carry on. Tom in this film was never afraid to be who he was in age. You're good for a man of years! Help me. He gave us a kid who was both incredibly physically capable, but also you got that his back hurt and that the physical ordeal of going up Dime Mountain fighting those guys was not one that he wanted. It was brought to him and he was going to have to do it. <laughs> 